still filming? I don't think so. You're, just, you're still filming? <laughs> <laughs> rotator cuff in my opinion one of the most overlooked and undertrained muscles the reason I believe this to be true is because a lot of people will look at the deltoid from an anterior lateral and posterior point of view and often forget about the rotator cuff uh, so for a lot of you guys who do not already know this the primary job of the rotator cuff is to externally rotate the shoulder so for those of you who are baseball players football players um, you know even golfers or hockey players anything where you're gonna be externally rotating your shoulder uh, this is, you know, absolutely key. The rotator cuff is going to be crucial in making sure that you perform at your best. And for a lot of you guys who will notice that you potentially will often get injured, this may be due to a weak rotator cuff. This is the opposite exercise right here. We're doing the internal rotation and it is still working the rotator cuff. These are both super awesome. And if you don't have access to a band, you can also use cables, vice versa. This next exercise is known as the ventral external rotation. But if you haven't caught on already, I'm performing this exercise wrong. And what I'm doing is I'm moving my elbow way too much with the movement. And what's happening is I'm taking a lot of the isolation off the rotator cuff and my deltoid is coming into play, wanting to do all the work, which means my rotator cuff isn't gonna be getting as good of a workout. Uh, I accidentally deleted the clip of me doing this properly, but if you stick around for the next clip, which is the ventral internal rotation, you'll see what I mean by keeping the elbow still and doing it properly. So here it is, the ventral internal rotation. This one is going to be easier than the ventral external rotation. You guys can see my elbows are not moving. I'm keeping them nice and locked. Um, a little side note, this band was a little awkward because uh, it kept hitting me in the arm, but it still was working my rotator cuff and it is an awesome exercise to be doing. So here you see Josh perform the lateral external rotations and this is without a doubt one of my favorite exercises to perform. Also to address a common question I'm asked, um, the reason we stick to bands and such low weights, I've already mentioned this a little in this video, but the deltoid wants to come into play as well as a lot of other muscles and by keeping the form nice and tight, the weight low, you guys will stick to just working the rotator cuff and you'll be getting the most out of the exercises you are performing. So keeping the elbows at 90 degree angle the whole time. So it's just the elbows up, rotate. And you're, feel, you're gonna feel it deep in the rotator cuff there. Rotate back down. So this is one of Scott's favorite warm-up rotator cuff exercises, and this is a little more advanced than the one we previously showed you. For those of you who do not know also, this is Scott T. Um, he is a fellow YouTuber and he is a physique coach. He's highly regarded in the fitness industry, has lots of experience, makes cool videos, and has a lot of um, success with his online clients. So thank you, Scott, for driving three hours to come join us to work out and film with us, uh, sharing your knowledge with us, and it was a super good experience. Our workout with Scott will be posted very soon, so be on the lookout for that. Here you guys can see I'm doing a little bit of a modified one compared to Scott. I'm just doing half of the motion and this is one of the ones that I like to do before my workouts. So very, very similar. It's kind of like a, a portion of what I was doing. That's, that's a deep burn, right? What you're doing there. Like you said, no more than five, 10 pounds. Yeah. One thing a lot of you guys probably don't realize is that the shoulder is the number two most common muscle to keep people out from the gym behind the back. So doing exercises like these will keep your shoulders nice and healthy and strong if done properly. So it's nice. Now, if you use a broomstick, I find it's not as good. With the band, it allows you to open up a little bit more. There you guys have it, our favorite rotator cuff exercises. Uh, Scotty wanted to show us this one. This is another exercise he likes to perform. Um, before his workout. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are training safe, training smart, and will save your shoulders. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh. <laughs> All right. What's up guys, if you're still watching at this point, you're clearly premium members of the Colossus Army and we appreciate you so much. If you guys appreciate what we do and want to have a pivotal role in supporting and bettering us and helping us help other people, you guys can come over here to our Patreon and help donate. There's a monthly donation to help us grow with different pledge levels, with different rewards where you guys can actually get rewards for pledging. And then the beauty of this is this helps us effectively make better videos, get better content and produce, improve production quality all through. Out. Thank you so much. Uh, any donation would help so much. If not, just keep liking, subscribing, and being awesome. Thanks.